Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet, and welcome to another episode of Royally Fucked. And that's really about it. You can call me His Royal Highness. Thank you for tuning in. So, this is a review of episode, uh, season one, episode two of my new favorite show, Lovecraft Country. So, if you watch my other, uh, ooh, hold on. My ass stuck to the seat, girl. I'm trying to move. There we go. Because you know, you sit too long, your booty start to go numb. So, uh, if you watched my last review, bitch, I told you I was lost. I didn't know what was going on. So, bitch, I had to go do some reading. I had to go do it. I'm doing this because I'm hot, too. But I had to go do some research. So, apparently, Lovecraft Country is actually a book, and it was adapted to television. And I should have known, based on the first episode, from Jordan Peele and somebody named Misha. Uh, now, I'm going to be looking at my phone a lot because I didn't get all this down. Jordan Peele and Misha, let me go back, Misha Green. I think is who created the show. Yeah, Misha Green. I'm not sure who Misha Green is, but this comes from the sick mind of Get Out. Um, what else did uh, the other one? Us. All that. All that uh, menagerie and twistedness uh, of Jordan Peele. So the second episode that came on uh, was entitled. Let me go back to it. I am going through here was entitled Whitey's on the Moon. So first off, let me go ahead and say how I appreciate, put my phone down, how I appreciate that rep representation matters. This is, to my knowledge, this is the first black, primarily black cast of a period sci-fi, period fantasy kind of show. Representation matters. So when you look at shows kind of like this, like True Blood and The Walking Dead, um, and what other shows can I use? Charmed, um, and that's just the name of a few off the top of my head. Blacks are never the lead. Blacks are not the focus. Our stories are not the forefront within shows like that. So to have a show that is all black, like 95, 97% black, uh, especially the leads are concerned, um, and to have a a stellar cast of great actors, J J Jeremy Smollett, uh, Courtney B. Vance, Anjanu Ellis, the lead man in the show, who I am not familiar with him, but Daddy is fine, and Daddy got body. His name is um, Jonathan Morton. He played, is it Martin or Morton? Let me go to Jonathan Majors. Still wrong. Jonathan Majors uh, got body, chest, and ass for days. So to have a stellar cast like this um, that comes from different walks of life and different acting, uh, different acting uh, backgrounds to create this show and it be good. I want my black people, my people of color to watch it, keep it on HBO Max because representation matters. We live, we like fantasy, we like magic, we like all of these things. And to have a show that is depicting uh, the, 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 the tale, ooh, the tales of these people of color, I love it. So this episode, we, we, we follow up from last episode where I tell you, I didn't understand what was going on. So this episode, they are at are, they are in Arkham, this town in the middle of nowhere, uh, with the uh, with the Blythe. What, what is the name of? Oh, come on, the family. The family who we find out more about. What is it? Uh, cast. What are they doing now? What is the family last name? It doesn't. Oh, come on now. IMDb. What is the family name? What? Blythe? Oh, it's not. And maybe, let's not do. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. Let's not do the mobile version. Let's go ahead and look at the, the, the desktop version so I can have everybody's name. Uh, because I don't have time for all of this. See, full cast. All right. There we go. So the Braith Braithwife. 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 So long story short, they're at this big ass mansion in the woods or whatnot, and we find out 
about the true identity of the magic. They're out there trying to find this, find his father in the episode. They ended up finding his father in this particular episode. Um, and they're in this mansion, in this magical house. And Uncle, who I can't remember his name, Uncle Courtney B. Vance's character, who is Uncle George Freeman, or as a white man called him, the elder Mr. Freeman, uh, finds this secret pad. He moves this book in his room, and he finds this secret passion way, and he finds this book, which is uh, the dawn, the Sons of Dawn, which is ultimately like a magical code or whatnot. And so he reads that. He wasn't supposed to find it or whatnot. Um, they are take they are taking refuge into this house, um, and they um, start to put pieces together. Um, Atticus has started to put things together because he's able to remember things. We'll come to find out, the white woman that her name is Christina Bretsworth. Bretz, I cannot say that name. Bretsworth, but bitch, if you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about. They put a spell on um, Louis, Leah, what is her name? Lee, uh, Letitia, um, and Uncle Uncle George. They put a she put a spell on them. So they could remember everything that happened in the woods with the monsters and that and the other. Um, and so there and they're just living it up and not really understanding what's going on, just like every, ever every day. But he's trying to tell them, like, hey, you got to remember this or whatnot. So there is this ritual. And what I'm gathering is that the, the I'm going to call him Fitzgerald, uh, Fitzgerald Grant from Scandal. He is in this show as well, and he plays the head nigga in charge, ultimately like a cult wise, a magical cult. So from what I understand is that the Blythe Titus is the main the man that's dead, Titus Blaith White, Blaith White. Uh, they are, at least what I'm assuming, is that they are descendants of Adam. Um, and Adam was all good, but Eve was the one that caused the shit. Uh, kind of playing on like Adam was all right, just being oblivious to what was going on. But even that goddamn snake is the one that caused it up, and so he is trying to get back into immortality, into the Garden of Eden. So, being that uh, Titus, I mean not Titus, Atticus, who is the the main, the black guy, the main character in the story, he is a direct descendant of Titus Black. There's a point in there that was saying Titus was, Titus was um, overly kind to everyone that he came in contact with. And it comes out that Atticus' mother was either raped by Titus or they fell in love or whatnot. But he is from that magical bloodline because she stole away in the middle of the night, ran away gave birth and that's why you're at, and that's why you know if you look at the first episode he's trying to ask these questions about his mom because he never really knew his mom and that bloodline and you know where they come from or whatnot um, but he was able to gather this information there so uh, they are trying they 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 give him this robe um, they clean and bathe him for the ceremony I'm trying to go through it and remember it I'm exhausted and they give him this ring. And so his obligation, they, they shot Fitzgerald Grant. They were trying to escape, but there was a magical force field that they ran into, fucked up the car. And he got there with his daughter, which is Christina one, uh, got there and he shot Letitia. Ended up healing her. Shot uncle or whatever, right? Uncle didn't make it. Uncle died or whatnot. Uh, he was supposed to heal Uncle, right? Uh, but the only way for him to heal Uncle was to go through the ceremony. So he's up there going through the ceremony. The gates of the Garden of Eden is open. You're seeing flowers start to grow through this magical portal or whatnot. And he is seeing a slave woman who I'm assuming was his mom. And so he's in this bubble and all this power is going in. The other minions with their capes and hoods and all that shit is on. And for some odd reason, there is a burst of energy from without him. And it's just kind of like, wow. And Fitzgerald Grant turns to stone. Everybody else turns to stone. And like a pillar of salt just kind of fall or whatnot. 
um, and then something falls on Fitzgerald Grand and crushes the, you know, him almost like uh, Hocus Pocus at the end when they turned the stone or whatnot when the sun came up. So the house begins to fall. Um, his slave mother, the ghost or whatnot of his slave mom, was running through the house, setting the house on fire. The house is crumbling, and he's following her to get out of the house. He sees that everybody got out of the house, and that's when he realizes and comes to terms with Letitia telling him that Uncle George didn't make it. That is pretty much the end of this episode. Um, there were some other minute things that happened in there. They, uh, they found the daddy um, in, in, that, in a almost like Rapunzel's tower. This large circular tower that just ha 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 ha. Uh, ended up having a hollow basement. Just watch the show, honey. I'm trying to give you the bulk of it. I am enjoying it. Um, but it was a... This, that episode, season two, was... Episode one... Hmm, this is how tired I am. Season one, episode two, was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful episode. So, anyway, this is your boy, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. Thank you for tuning in. You're going to see an email here, which is uh, royallyfucked at gmail.com. We have a new segment called Ask Your Royal Highness. Send me your questions, and I will highlight you guys later. Peace and much love. Ciao.